Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, and following the last video on logical puzzles, there was some positive uptake, and I think people were asking if I could go through different styles of logical puzzle questions as well. Okay, so I thought I would go through um, just a couple of questions that I picked out that are different to the kind of like two-way table style questions. So these ones, I guess, have no clear-cut technique, I would say as such, but it's more about just kind of general principles and ways that I like to solve these. Okay, so um, these are just a random assortment of questions, therefore. So it says W, X, Y, Z are playing a football game. One of them breaks a window by mistake. So W says it was X, X says it was Y. Y says it was not me. And Z says it was not me. Okay, so which of the four must be lying? So in order to do this, you kind of have to have a look which two ideas are contradictory here. So you can see X and Y are the contradictory ideas here because X says it's Y, Y says it's not me. So one of these two must be lying, but who is it? So we can just trial and error it. So if Y was lying, okay, that means all the others are telling the truth. But that wouldn't be possible because W says it's X and X says it's Y and they can't both have done it because only one of them breaks the window. So therefore, let's say X has to be lying. So if X is lying, that means W is telling the truth. So W is telling, saying it's X. Y is telling the truth. Y is saying it's not me. Z is saying it's not me. And that works because it would be X. Okay. So um, therefore, the person who must be lying must be X. And the reason and the way that we did it is we simply drew our O's and we had a look at which options were impossible, basically. Okay. And um, which two were contradictory. And then it was kind of a bit of trial and error to see which one worked and which one didn't. Okay. Awesome. So on to the next question then. Okay. So this question does, says a youth orchestra of 39 members and is drawn from four secondary schools, KLMN. Each school sends the same proportion of boys and girls to play in the orchestra as are on the school roll. Okay. So it's representative. With 18 members in the orchestra, so there's a youth orchestra, which is 39 members. With 18 members in the orchestra, L is twice the size of K. So K must have 9. And that's three times the size of M and N. So M must be um, 6 and N must also be 6. And if you add those up, so just make sure. So 12, 21, 18 adds up to 39. N has as many boys as K has girls, while M has equal girls. So here, the important bit is if we just dive to what you can easily work out. So M has equal boys and girls. And it says there are six girls from N in the orchestra. So M therefore has zero boys and all girls. And it says N has as many boys as K has girls. Okay, N has as many boys as K has girls. So that means K must have zero girls so it has all boys and it says l has as many boys as k so then k has nine boys so l is going to be equally split so here i'm not going through the information necessarily chronologically but i'm picking out the most definitive ideas and it asks how many of the four secondary schools are same sex schools so we can see this has only boys this sorry that has only girls and this has only boys so the answer must be c too Okay, so some kind of lo like logical way of laying out the information really, really helps here. Okay. Okay, so with these kind of questions, whenever they give you a diagram, you probably have to use it. So you probably have to like draw something roughly somewhere on your page. Obviously, you don't have to draw out all the shapes. You can just do it as five blanks that are roughly in order like this. Um, but obviously here, because I can see on the screen, I'm just going to use the screens one. So remember, once again, we're looking for things we can put down definitively. So the Pentagon is not allocated for the education area. Fine, that's cool. The hospital was as far from the airport as possible. So hospital is going to be here. The commercial space is almost equidistant from the residential plots in the education area. So if it's equidistant, it's probably going to be in the middle okay well almost equidistant that means at least residential plots in the education area remember we're looking for what's in the circle we know the pentagon's not for the education area so the education area must be here so the answer is going to be c okay and another point that i want to mention is often i feel like sometimes the logical puzzles on the uh, official UCAT website are a little bit easier than some of the ones on Medify. Okay, so just something to bear, bear in mind. And again, another reason for why you should be trying to do hopefully all of these um, questions as well as all the practice tests as well, just to get a better, better idea of what the real thing will be like. Because of course, Medify is great, but these questions are from the actual makers. So you can kind of um, see if you can get into their frame of thinking essentially. Okay. 
Okay, so this is often also a separate style of question. So this question is um, the ones where it's like, oh, different people assign different things on a weekday. So you have to put things in order, okay? So um, it says, where's the same color suit on the same day of the week? So you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, okay? So first of all, I think it's important to read all of the main ideas. Before we put anything down, I think it's important to kind of just play around with stuff as well. So he wore his blue suit later in the week than the brown one. So you know the blue goes after the brown. He wore his white suit some days later than the blue one. So then it goes brown, blue, and then white. And it says some days after, so perhaps there's a gap. He wore the grey suit two days later than the blue one. Okay, so it's going to be based off the fact we know that there's at least one gap between blue and white. I think it's going to be blue, dash, grey, then white. Okay, so if we've got grey here, and we've got white here, and you've got the dash, we've got blue, and this has to be brown. What day did he wear his green suit? I would say it's going to be C, Wednesday. So the reason I figured that out is, so the blue suit is later in the week than the brown, so I just put blue over brown just in general. And it says he wears, wore his white suit some days later. Okay, so here it will be two days after. So that's like the minimum for some, because some is more than one. So I put it as the minimum. But then we're told he wears his grey suit two days later than the white, than the blue one. So... The, the earliest the white suit can be worn, I guess, is going to be three days after, okay? Um, and it can't be four days because then that wouldn't make sense because then we would go on into a Saturday, okay? So that, that had to make sense like this. And once again, it's a combination of just kind of putting together different elements and ideas. And it's difficult, and I appreciate that. And it's kind of annoying that there's no clear-cut technique for it. But the only thing I would say is put down the definitive information first. And like I said... Kind of play around with the ideas you have and as we're going down we're kind of expanding the knowledge that we do know and what we can put into the question so in a similar vein to that last question is this question here so it's about people coming in at different times so it says so we've got six people so you can see this is the earliest and this is the latest it says ali was immediately followed into the room by hassan so ali and then hassan zoe arrived after francois but before sharon who was not the last to arrive so zoe arrived after francois okay but before Sharon, immediately before Sharon. So we know these two are next to each other and these two are next to each other. So Sharon was not the last to arrive, so it was someone else. Okay. Mira was later than Francois, who arrived after Ali. So if Mira was later than Francois, and we have we know that these two are next to each other, and we know that Mira was later than Francois, who arrived after Ali. So if Mira if Francois arrived after Ali, and we know Hassan was straight after Ali, it must be Ali, Ali Hassan, Francois. And then we have Z, S, and remember, we know that there's at least one last person because Sharon's not the last to arrive. And since we know Mira was later than Francois, Mira must be here. So who was the fourth to arrive? I would say it's going to be Zoe. Okay, so once again, there's no clear cut technique as such, but it's just about relating ideas together. Okay, like these two have to stay next to each other. These two have to stay next to each other. There could have been gaps there, etc, etc. And seeing what kind of logically fits. And I think one of, one of the things to this is you kind of just have to do as many of these questions as possible to be able to do them fast. Okay, because often I think some of the times these questions are actually nicer than the two way table ones, even though the two way table, there's like a definitive technique for them. OK, so I hope those questions make sense. It's just a couple that I wanted to go through. Hopefully that clarifies things up um, and you're able to kind of understand this. And um, there are, of course, other logical puzzle questions as well. But this is just some of the, the more common styles that I've seen that I thought I'd put on there. But like I said, I think the majority do tend to be the two way table kind of ideas. OK, so as always, um, make sure to like and subscribe and um, please do put a comment if there's more any more information or any other topics that you're looking to see, we should hopefully be finished with decision making in the upcoming days. Thank you once again.